guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back to you with some great news from Metro PCS about three, that's right, three new phones from Samsung. Amazing that Samsung has brung out these phones. Why am I saying amazing? Because it is a word to my madness when I say amazing that they came out with three phones because there are three amazing, great phones. Now, before I get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and tune in for more videos that I have coming and new content, old content. Go check them out. Don't forget to do all that good stuff. And I'm EJ Uno. Got a long variety of videos. Go check those out. But getting back to what this show is about, this is about great news from Metro PCS. And they came out with first, they came out with the Samsung A12. Now, this is a 5,000 milliamp fast charge 6.5 HD plus infinity display phone. Now they have the V notch, which I am not a big fan of phones anymore. I used to be like for a split moment, but uh, yeah, they got kind of old. So um, I'm, but I'm not a big fan of that. The phone's still great. It's still amazing. And uh, it comes with a main quad of uh, 16 megapixels, five megapixels, two megapixels, and two depth camera on it that's right it has four four cameras on the back and they have one on the front i am not sure on what the pixel is in on that front camera but it does have a 6.5 hd infinity v display like i said it has 32 gigabytes of storage i'm expecting that it has four gigabytes of ram it comes with a media tech uh, helo 535 octa-core and a 5000 milliamp battery Metro PCS is talking about um, watching it from an uh, angle because I'm guessing it is a 20 by 9 ratio phone. It looks like it actually is. And uh, the camera on the bump of the back looks like a, like kind of like a little iPhone type of, uh, a little iPhone type of layout. Um, actually kind of just like that. It has the LED flash at the bottom of it. Looks like it is. I'm looking at these as I'm talking. And um, when you, it comes with 32 internal storage, but you'll only be able to use 19 gigabytes after it does its software and, you know, puts everything inside there. So uh, you can, it does, it, it does have up to one terabyte of extended storage. So it does support SD uh, support. It has Android 10, not Android 11. So I don't know if it's going to be upgradable to it. And uh, that's really all I got so far on this phone. And uh, let's move to the next phone that they have, which is now, the more I keep on going up about these phones, the more better that they get with these phones right here. So, yeah, like I said, Samsung released, not, I'm sorry, three amazing phones, like I said. I, I, I want to make sure I said that. So going to the next one that they have is the Samsung A32 5G. Now, speaking of that, it comes with it does have 5g so you were going to be on some great network and getting great service with it now this phone gets a little bit better as i keep going up these phones get a little bit better than the next now samsung a32 5g says it all right there it has five it's 5g comp compatible it has 5000 milliamp battery and it has a 48 quad core quad system megapixel camera on the back of it now this layout from the from the 30 from the 12 is different when it comes to the 32. The camera layout is going straight down and having one little camera to the side of it as you can see in the picture. And this has um a 6 a, a 6.5 HD TFT display on it and I have checked it out in the store. It does have a great a great view angle but like I said I am not a big fan of the V notch but maybe you are and maybe you might like that. And, um, but me personally, I'm not like it, but I do like how the phone looks. The phone does look really nice. It does look pretty cool. And, uh, it does have a fingerprint sensor to the side of the phone, which is really cool and very, very, um, very convenient instead of being on the back of it. I would, I would rather a phone either be, in, be on the back. I mean, be on the back. I would rather be on the side or in the display. I wasn't a big fan of in display fingerprint, but Samsung has made, me changed my mind and it has got better dealing with samsung phones so um this now this phone like i said i didn't say about the a12 but the a12 is free 
when you port in your number from a different carrier. This phone is $29 when you port in from a different carrier. Just wanted to put that out there, let you guys know about that. Uh, getting on to it, it does have 64 gigabytes of storage in it. It does support SD card. And I believe it has, again, four gigabytes of RAM. This is not telling me everything it does have. Uh, it's saying on the camera, you do have an awesome five times zoom in. So that's that's really cool. Um, edge to edge display. I would say edge, I think they're kind of stretching it when they say um, bold and crispy colors from edge to edge because the phone is not edge to edge. It's not, you know, it, it it's not, when I think of edge, I think like the whole screen is filled up and uh, they, they have a little bit of bezels there. So I, I wouldn't go that far of saying that right there. Um, and so this says it has Android 10. Now they all say they have Android 10, but when I check these phones and going back to the A12, I did not check the A12, but I did check these two phones. They do come with Android 11 on there, just to let you guys know about that. And uh, now I'm going to get the better specs after I get done talking about these because Metro doesn't have all the I, the right specs when it comes to these phones. And uh, it kind of like throws people off when they go check out the phone. And I'll tell you why. Now, getting to the phone that I did get, and I'm very happy about that. And you can go check out this phone if you want. This is called the A52. And this is really, really nice phone. I'm not going to lie about that. This is really, really nice. Um, so here we go. So as you see on the camera, this is called the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. This one comes in eight, uh, five, uh, 5G capable with it. It goes down a little bit, 500 off from the A12 and the A32, and they give you a 4,500 milliamp battery with it, which is nice. It's really good though. Uh, I think they should have put a 5,000 in here, but hey, I guess they had to cut corners when they're making the phone. It does have a 6.5 full HD. 12, 112 gigahertz and trust me when I say this phone is fast it is pretty pretty damn fast um it does it has 120 gigabytes of storage supports SD card so you can add up to one terabyte it has a 64 megapixel camera and uh when you support it in from this phone you it is 199 it is expensive but it does have water and dust resistant it does. It's, it is IP68, or it says IP67, which is IP68, and you can have it in the water for 30, 30 minutes, and um, get it on from it. It does have a 20 by 9 ratio. It does have NFC, and let's see what else what we got on here. Um, it, it now this one says it too. Now the, what I said, I'm about to check my extra sources on the phone. This one says it comes with Android 10. When I did my review and go check that out, uh, it has Android 11 on it with UI 3.1. So they are not keeping it up to date on here, but that's okay because I got you guys on that. I'm about to go check out these. Um, I'm about to go check out these phones myself and let you guys know when. Uh, let me see. Samsung A. Because I'm about to give you the real. The real one, the real specs on here. Okay, so here we go. So the A52 5G lets you guys know this phone has a 1080 by 24 megapixel camera. I mean, 10 by 80. I'm sorry, guys. 10 by 80, 2400 megapixel resolution on the phone, and it has a Snapdragon 750G 5G has six gigabytes of RAM. Now, when you check on Metro PCS, it says four for all of them, but it, that's not correct. This one has 66 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, another thing that, uh, let's get into the cameras. It has a 12 megapixel camera on the back of it. Now, we're talking about the A52. It has a 12 megapixel camera, a 5 megapixel camera, and a 5 megapixel depth camera. And it has a 32 megapixel uh, front-facing camera that is very, very lovely on there. So, let's get to the next one. And let's go look at the Samsung A32. Because we're going to go down from there, 5G. So, this had, like I said, it has a 6.5 screen, 720 by 1600 pixels. Ugh. But don't, don't get me wrong, the screen looks nice. It's, uh, the resolution does go down on it. Let's just let you guys know. 
this does have a four gigabytes of RAM and it used a uh, a different type of processor in this and it's a 725 G. So a little bit of downgrade um, with the processors in there. Now with the cameras, is then you know that it has 48, 48 megapixel camera followed by an eight megapixel, five megapixel and a two depth megapixel, which I mean, at, at the two, I think they could have left that out. Now, now the A52 does come with a lot of different features, like going going back to the A52, it does come with always on display. Just to let you guys know, you guys will be getting an always on display where you can lift to uh, lift to see. And, um, but they do um, not do that on the A32. Now going to the Samsung A12, Let's see about this one. It does, it has the same resolution as the A32. It has a 720 by 16 pixel on it, a 48 uh, megapixel camera on it that shoots 1080p. It has three gigabytes of RAM. And like I said, it has a, a uh, Halo 535. So they're using all different processors in these phones and they're trying to cut corners and I get it to try to benefit the consumer. So that's good. That's, I, and I want to sit there and say that why I'm so happy about um, Samsung bringing out these phones is because Samsung is always behind and to get a phone like this that looks like the Ultra or anything like that is really amazing because they usually don't do that and um, Samsung is I'm, I'm thinking to try to get to try to reach out there and get their consumers back because usually it's LG bringing out a phone OnePlus has brought out a phone Motorola really be bringing out phones and, and, and doing it big. So Samsung, um, for having such a big name and have such a big, um, have, have a, has had like a big old consumer and everybody buying the phone, they're really giving back to the people who really don't have that much money to spend. And to spend one ninety nine for a phone like this is really awesome. And to have, um, to have IP68 is really awesome of Samsung. And I'm really happy that I made this purchase. And I'm really happy about that. Samsung, um, you got an A plus in my book. And um, just want to let that be known. So if you are not a Metro PCS person, go switch your services and get that to get this type of phone. And they do have this phone on Cricut Wireless, but it is for $249 or $2 something like that. But say $50 in your pocket, whatever. So if you're on a different carrier, um, might want to look into a phone like this and wait to pay your bill for the next carrier and try to do a port in to get this type of phone. Um, but if Cricket Wireless comes with, through with a better uh, deal, which they're not too knowing for that type of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and so, but if they do, stay with your carrier. But if not, um, definitely, I would definitely pick a phone like this. So this is EJ Uno, letting you guys know about the news about these three amazing phones from Metro PCS. And, based, and wanted to brag more about the Samsung phone. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the segment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more.